But I wanted to talk really briefly about ground sheets for tents. And so uh, for those of you that might not know what that means, a ground sheet is something that we lay underneath of a tent. Now there's a couple things that you can use for a ground sheet. A lot of major tent manufacturers actually produce custom uh, ground sheets that are cut the exact same shape as your tent. So for uh, you know X amount of dollars and it ranges really depending on the, the quality of the tent, uh, you can get a ground sheet that will fit perfectly with those diameters of that tent. Now the other thing that you can do is you can use a tarp or you can actually cut a piece of poly sheeting and if you're going to do that there's a couple do's and don'ts that you want to be aware of. But the first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of show you what a ground sheet for a tent looks like if you were to actually go through and buy that custom fitted ground sheet. Now, one of the big things that I like about a custom fitted ground sheet is that it's designed to actually clip into the pole system of your tent. So you can see right here, there's a little clip that goes right onto the tent. And now this thing's gonna stay in place and not shift around, which is great. So that's one of the reasons why I like investing in those ground sheets. Now, if you don't wanna spend that money, there's a couple of alternatives. The first is just taking a, a basic tarp. So get a tarp that is at least bigger than your tent. Now, if you're gonna use one of those standard tarps underneath your tent as a ground sheet, there's one thing that you need to be very careful of. Because that tarp is going to be bigger than the actual footprint of your tent, you need to make sure that it's not sticking out from underneath of the tarp. So if you look right here, you can see that the tarp right now is sticking out of the bottom. And if it were to rain, the rain's gonna come off or onto the tent, down along the side, and it's gonna land onto this tarp. And then it's gonna flow underneath of your tent. So it's actually gonna do more damage than good in this situation. So what you wanna do is take that tarp and tuck it under the tent or even fold it underneath of the tent. So then that way you're not gonna get any water pooling underneath of your tent. Really important. And I see this is kind of a common mistake that I see a lot when I'm in campgrounds is people trying to do something good by protecting the bottom of their tent using that ground sheet but not necessarily doing it in the right way. And then they end up just getting wet in their tent, which is what they were trying to avoid uh, to begin with. It's important to remember why we use a ground sheet or a footprint. It's to protect the bottom of your tent. So depending on where you're camping, it may not be required. Uh, one of the situations that you might not need it is winter camping. Um, you could argue though that that extra layer in the bottom might increase a little bit of warmth in the bottom of the tent. So maybe if you're using a three season tent in the winter, the ground sheet might be helpful just for some additional warmth, but it's not gonna do anything to protect the bottom of the tent if you're putting the, the tent on snow. If you're using it on a gravel surface, and the big one that comes to mind is if you're camping in any type of official campground. Um, so car camping campgrounds especially, I find a lot of those are gonna be quite gravelly, but also those tent pads that you're gonna see in backcountry campsites, uh, they might have a little bit of a gravel fill on them. And then the other one too is those wooden platforms I find. The wooden platforms in theory would be great, especially if they were brand new, but I find over time they get a little bit worn out and sometimes you can get slivers or, or, or spikes that come out of them and those could actually do some damage to the bottom of your tent. So for me, making that investment into a, an actual custom fitted ground sheet or footprint for my tent is totally worth it. It's gonna extend the life of my tent. Now, the other thing that you could also do is take some sort of a poly sheeting or a painter's ground sheet. And what, the great thing about that is you can actually cut it to be the right fit of your tent. And that's a really cheap option, also a really lightweight option. 